To solve a system of linear equations using substitution, what you need to have is you need to have one equation that has an isolated variable. Now looking at the system on the screen, there's two equations. y equals 2x minus 5, and then the 3x minus y equals 6. Now this first equation here has an isolated variable because that y is all alone on one side of the equal sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the expression from that equation that has the isolated variable. And as you can see, since the y is the isolated variable, we're going to take this expression and we're going to substitute it in for y in that second equation. So when we substitute in that expression, and make sure you carry down that subtraction, we're going to substitute in 2x minus 5 in place of the y. And we want to bring down our equal 6 as well. The goal here is to have an equation that just has a single variable. So as you can see, we only have a 3x and a 2x now. We've removed the y from this scenario. So now from here, we can just go through and solve our equation. Now remember that there's this invisible one that's sitting here. So we need to go through and distribute that subtraction that's sitting outside the parentheses. So this is actually going to become a plus 5 equals 6. And then we can combine our like terms to start working through this equation. And then if we subtract 5 from both sides, we get x equals 1. Now we're not finished with the problem just yet because remember, a system of equations always intersects at a point. So we need both an x value and a y value for our solution. Now in order to find the other variable, what we're going to do is we're going to take this answer here, this value that we got for x, and we're going to substitute that now back in to that equation that had the isolated variable. So this is going to give us y equals 2 minus 5. So y is going to equal negative 3. And then we always want to write our final answer as a point. So our solution to this system would be 1, negative 3. So what that means is if we were to actually graph these two lines on a coordinate plane, they would intersect at 1, negative 3.